This is Twit. As I start to describe this latest attack, uh, I have to conclude that the bad guys really do have an advantage. You know, they're able to sit back and steeple their fingers with a faraway look in their eyes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> While they endlessly cook up one sneaky way after another to bend the technology we've innocently given them to their dastardly purposes. Today, we had the latest attack concept that's been named Browser in the Browser. It's, you know, it could have been done before, but it just occurred to a pen testing guy. It's a novel new form of phishing attack which was designed and documented by a pen tester who goes by the handle Mr. Docs. Um, it's obvious once you see it, but it would not be obvious to a user who were to encounter it when they're expecting to see it. It's able to perfectly and convincingly simulate the pop-up browser window that we're all encountering more and more often with the spread of those third-party, you know, single sign-on options embedded on websites, you know, the sign-in with Google or Facebook or Apple or Microsoft, whatever. Um, I got two screenshots side-by-side, side, which this guy produced, um, demonstrating that there's no way to tell them apart. Um, you know, with page rendering, which allows JavaScript, CSS, and HTML to perfectly recreate the appearance of a legitimate sign-in with whomever pop-up dialog, you know, an innocent user has no idea. And Mr. Docs notes that one of the things that makes this attack so effective is that the spoofed dialogue clearly and prominently displays the exactly correct domain name, the verification of which we've been drilling into our users for years, you know, saying, make sure you're at the right site. Double check the URL for any typos or lookalike characters. You know, don't be fooled. Well... You know, then along comes this perfect replica of a third-party sign-in dialog that accepts their innocently entered username and password. And because the JavaScript just printed a fake URL at the top of the dialog, which is oh, where they're expecting. Oh, I see. You know, it's... It's yeah, easy. It's I mean, not... I understand it's easy to duplicate the login screen. That's just, it's all open. It's JavaScript and HTML. I right. get it. So instead of where the browser puts the url you just put a graphic yep that looks the same <laughs> <laughs> and how would you know unless you clicked it i guess if you clicked it you might not be able to click the padlock for instance i don't know well that's yeah, really that's interesting wow isn't it i mean and again of course you yeah, know easy you you, you, you you click on, you know, log, you know, sign in with Facebook, up this thing pops, and you think, oh, I mean, you're expecting it. And so you may be doing due diligence. You go, okay, wait, wait F A C E B O O K dot com. Yep, that's Facebook. Uh, nope. Wow. So, wow. Uh, you know, oh, and Leo, just because. Mr. Or was yeah, Mr. Dox. I couldn't remember if it was Dr. Dox or not. Dr. Mr. Dox would be better, but I guess he Dr. Dox get was, a degree. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Mr. Dox. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. To avoid any unnecessary duplication of effort, Mr. Dox has thoughtfully provided attacker-ready, easy-to-use, downloadable <laughs> templates. It even GitHub. has dark mode. <laughs> That's right. You got you got your dark mode. You got your light mode. You got your Chrome on Windows or Mac OS. Whatever you need, wow. just get it from GitHub. Yeah. So you can't really just say look at the URL anymore. Nope. I do wonder though what would happen. I guess you could write some JavaScript that if you click the padlock, you'd get something else. But probably another yeah. little thing that's this is, yeah it's, oh, yeah, it's all good yeah <laughs> yeah because the attacker has control of the window so right, it can do right. whatever you want i mean right. it's it's a fake url so yeah fake wow. fake the click on the padlock yeah and and actually you'll be since we were talking about squirrel this already occurred to us back then and a lot of attention was given mm -hmm. to designing a pop-up dialog that could not be spoofed in this fashion so mm -hmm. Again, we uh, we did a lot of work uh, at the time, uh, but yeah, 
wow, I just, you know, look what we've done to poor users. It's just, it's just <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, no wonder your mom says, Leo, uh, how do I dot, dot, dot. What's going on? By the way, and of course, you, I know you're not reading the Bobo verse. Uh, you're, you're not listening to it in, on, as an audio book. You're reading it. But Ray yeah. Porter reading it does all the voices. He does Homer. <laughs> not a great Homer, oh, but he does no it. No kidding. Yeah. Oh. So so there's a, he's a, he's doing a lot of good voices in there. It's pretty funny. He does. Uh, wow. Uh, Colonel uh, Butterworth, he does perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. Anyway, sorry, didn't mean to distract. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh, I don't. How, what do we tell people now? Uh, you know, we always said make sure it's the right uh, URL. You have to manually enter it, but that's not going to work for an nope. authentication window. No, and well, look at that. Look at the stuff that follows it. It's like uh, I used to joke. I, I had a, a one of my best friends was a lot older than I. Uh, he has since passed, but uh, his name was Gary. Uh, he was. I used to joke that the 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 Windows. Uh, <laughs> What is that key we type in? The the the, the five groups of five. The, I forgot what you call that. Anyway, the, it the was serial the number. You mean? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. yeah the, and you had the, to type it in. Yes, oh, the license key. It, yeah, yeah, the license key. I used to joke that it was the equivalent of copyright protection. Oh, terrible. Because he was he was never able to get it right. Remember, we he'd had to type look, that in. That was crazy. Oh yeah, he'd, he'd be looking at it, going, "Okay, J Q five P T." <sighs> yeah, and I go, Gary, no, that's that's an eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, sim you know, look at URLs. URLs used to be, so they were supposed to be meaningful. Now they've got these GUIDs in them that's just gibberish. So, yeah, you can't ask a user to type that. Yeah. They, they, they never get logged in. They yeah. just go away. So, wow.